think this event is special because it brings together the youth, the elders, and all of the people in between. And it gives people from other places around here a chance to come and see what we're really all about. We're really hospitable. We like to have fun and laugh and sing and dance. And we get to enjoy that with each other and other people get to come and enjoy that too. My name is Don May Purser. I'm a Port Gamble Sklom tribal member and Stan Purser was my grandpa. The Stan Purser Pow has been going on for 31 years now, a gathering that my family puts together every year that uh, incorporates Midwest style of native dance and the Northwest style of traditional singing and dancing. The Stan Purser Pow usually has about 400 to 700 people that attend from here and all around the Northwest. Um, there's usually between five to 10 uh, tribes represented. It kind of depends because we also get tribes that come from Canada. We start with what we call a coastal jam. And so there's a dinner and all the coastal tribes come and they enjoy food together. And then after the food is done, they do coastal singing and dancing, and they have unique specific dances usually for each song. On Saturday, we have a big feast that starts around two o'clock. We have lots of food. <laughs> and then we have a grand entry, which consists of all the, the dancers and all the royalty from around our area. And there's usually about five to eight drums. And they have songs that they've either created themselves or that have been given to them or that have some kind of ceremonial significance. Uh, we have something called the crow hop, and that's kind of a way to show off the fancy shawl and fancy feather dancers. And then there's a sneak up and a sneak up song is one of the traditional dancers favorites and then we have um, a candy toss for all ages from little small babies all the way up to elders it's fun and it's funny and it brings the elders and the kids together which was really what my grandpa wanted to do my favorite part of the event is more i think on the behind the scenes our family comes together all the way from our kids to our elders i can see in my aunts and uncles, the pride that they feel, being able to put this together for our community. And it makes me feel like we're honoring my grandpa. I feel like I'm carrying on what he taught me. And it makes me really proud. And it makes me excited to do that every year.